All right, guys, day two of all this wiring for the control pack. So, so far, took this off just to get in there. See some of that wiring harness right there. Found some space. Up top, that's where my fuse box is at. It's mounted. So you can see with that, that bolt right there, this is the ground. This is the harness that goes over there that way. And I grounded it right there. So it's two grounds. It's got this ground, ground two Hondo, and then this ground for the power distribution block, which I had to put an eyelet on and grounded it with the little nut washer with the lock washer so this is the grommet that's on the harness this so all this would be on the outside but i want it on the inside just because all my other fuses are on the inside and uh i ran everything else that way oh man so it runs through here and that is See if I can. Sorry for the hard breathing. I don't care. I've been busting my ass. So this is the tricky part right here for most people getting scared for wiring. It's not that hard. This is the connector. This one right here. That has all the signals to the PCM. All right, so I'm gonna go one by one. All right, so this red one says hat B, hot at all times, B. So you have A is for the PCM, and then B, so it's A and B, it's two-part hot at all times. So the PCM always has power, and then the ignition always has power. So this one has power to it no matter what. See that? Don't matter where the key is to the ignition. Crank, crank, on run position, start, uh, this is the run position, accessory position, the off position, keys out, still has power, hot at all times, alright, so, you've got the trigger wire, this trigger wire will only start, you see right there, it's, it's, it's not on, it'll only turn on when the key is in the on position, in the run and run, uh, in the run and start position, so here, and then on the start, see still on right there and that's the run position accessory off okay so you only need power when it's on the run and start position all right now for the starter request that one is only going to have power right there's the on position so off accessory uh, run Start position. Start. 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 So this is the wire that's going to command your starter to turn. And then when you when you release it, it should have power to this one. To this one, which is the run position. So this one will stay on. But as soon as you cut it off, it'll shut your engine off. That's what that wire is for. So if your engine ain't shutting off for some reason, then obviously you didn't wire it right. I'm going to show you the colors I have here. This is for an 04 through 08 F-150. So for the hot at all times, that one is a green with purple stripe. The trigger is a blue with light green stripe. And the starter request is a red with a light blue stripe. That's it. This one I spliced onto it, but this power at all times. But I wanted a bigger wire. Um, so it's just three wires. That's it three wires um if you leave all the body control modules and all that stuff uh i don't need the fuel pump uh that starts uh, with the existing harness in the truck and then the ground is for whatever reason i'll see if i need it if i don't well then i'll leave it alone but i gotta tape these ends up i gotta clean that up because that looks like complete shit um this is just so that i could show you guys how to do this so i did it here and i did it over there 
So I did all here. So it's just checking, make sure everything was working. Um, there's a couple more things that I gotta show you guys. Obviously, you won't be able to see it through here. Well, maybe you will. See that daylight? Bam! That's where I had to cut it to get the rest of the uh, harness out past the firewall. Been a hard day. So there's existing grommet, existing harness. You cut below it. You cut below it. Oh, I didn't cut it. I, I die grind. I used a die grinder, which is this baby right here. That's all it is. You can die grind the crap out of it, and you'll be able to fit the connector. This is the bitch right here. This is the pain in the ass. But you can get it through. I got it through with minimal invasive methods, and I will get cut the grommet off on the other side, other side of the harness, put it around here, and then just trim it right here so it 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 seats with this, and probably put some silicone or something. It'll seat all this, but I'll need to seal it with this other um, harness, and then this you just pop it right up. Throw it in there and then pull it up. Yeah. Bear with me. Uh. Up, down, up, down. That's what it's been like all day. Harnesses are pretty damn stiff, which is good because they'll last. This is huge because it's, oh, it's meant for the alternator. And obviously, the alternator goes on the driver's side, but not in my case and not in swaps. Just show all that in there. Damn, there. Saw the, uh, that this four. Mass airflow, alternator, fan. And interestingly enough, this is the fan. Fan, cooling fan, blunt cut. This is the starter. So you run this to your starter. And uh, show you something real quick, see if it interests anybody. These wires, I'm not gonna use them, but in case you want, this is Keon, 12 volts, 10 amps. HS can positive, HS can negative. These are for the electronic power assisted steering, E-Pass. I guess you can somehow fit it on there if you're ready to fabricate I looked on this truck and uh, it's not bolt on so I will not be doing that um, I'm gonna take this mount off PCM mount and uh, I'll probably cut this this off I don't need this anymore cut all this off interestingly enough I don't know why I showed you guys this but this plugs right in so this plugs right into the ECU uh, the engine harness. Plugs right in. Exact same connector. Yeah. The wires are similar in color, but not really. You see purple with white stripe. This one's all purple. This one's red with a light blue stripe. This is a light blue wire with no stripe. So it's probably the uh, fuel pump. I don't know 
what this is. I mean, if you actually look at your uh, other connector inside, you should be able to tell what, what wires what. Uh, that's as far as I've gotten today, fellas. And ladies, I don't know who watches this. I was gonna drill right here, or cut it open right here, but I found it that it was easier right there. I didn't want to route it and then back up and then over. So it's just the antenna. Show this back in there somehow. This pops right back in. Maybe. There it is. So you see, I have this hanger, a wire hanger. I was trying to find where uh, where I could route it in. I wanted it somewhere in here, but this hole. See if I can get in there. It has a hole right there, but that's just for the uh, cowl place. This area here. Look in there. To this floor. So we'll see if uh, if I keep working on it. Probably am. Um. Hopefully, I get it started. A uh, pain in the ass is that the power distribution block. Uh, let's see if you guys can see in there. It has that that stud up there. You see it right there. Let me get in there. Oh, that one, that stud. You need a wire, four, four gauge. Going from that nut or that stud to the 250 amp fuse, this. Let's see if I can open it. To that fuse, 250 amp, and then from that fuse to the battery positive, and then going to the positive. And then after the positive, you should have power to your power distribution block. And then you make sure all your negative connections are plugged in. Once that's plugged in, you should be able to start. It should start. In theory, it should start. I don't know how dead this battery is. I swapped it out with the dually one, but I've been cranking on it a few times. So I'll put the charger on it and see what happens. So maybe there'll be a startup video. Maybe not. We'll see.